Hey guys, it's Jess from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with my series that are on my TBR that I really want to read that I've put in a TBR jar. This is the mug that my sister got me for my birthday one year, and it has all of these series in them. There are almost 30 series that I put on this list, and I realize there's more I want to read that, um, that I'm not going to add. And these books, most of them I have physical copies of the series. <laughs> so, a lot of people were asking in my bookshelf tour, which I'll link down below if you haven't seen it, is that have I read all of them and how do I differentiate what I've read and what I haven't read and I just know what I've read and haven't read. I usually remember really well that what I've read. I don't remember what the book's about but I remember if I've read it and I just put them all together based on genre so and then by author so there's no organization between what I've read and what I haven't read and I don't know the percentage of what I've read and what I haven't read but I'm going to share with you the almost 30 series I have that are in this jar. I'm going to be picking one a month and what I did was I only listed the series so that if I decide to read like two books from that series so like Black Dagger Brotherhood's in here and I want to read one like now but if I choose it It'll just say Black Dagger Brotherhood, so I know that, okay, I need to read whatever book I'm on at that moment. So if I decide to, if I'm in the mood for one of these series before I pick it from here, that's okay. As long as I'm still reading it and I pick it, I read the next one. So I'm going to probably do once a month. If I have time, I'm really in the mood, I might do more than one, but that's this, and I'm going to show you what's in here. So I might be showing you the first book in the series, I might be showing you not the first book, just depending on what was accessible to me when I was taking them off my shelves. But the first series is the Highlander series. I don't know what the series is actually called by Maya Banks. I read In Bed with a Highlander and I loved it so much and it reminded me so much of Outlander with the aspect of this really headstrong woman falling in love with this Scottish Highlander and having to marry him out of... Um, a need of protection, which was what they, Outlander with Jamie and Claire, they married to protect Claire. Obviously fell in love with Outlander and they did in this series. And it's all the brothers in this series, so I really need to finish the next two. Like I said, it's my favorite. I need to re start reading the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. I'm on book three, which is Zeta's story, and I'm so excited for this. So yeah, these are vampire romances and they're the best. The next series is the... Guild Hunter series by Nalini Singh. This is about a vampire hunter and at least the first book she falls in love with an archangel and she needs to like kill him or something. I don't know but I've heard amazing things about Nalini Singh. She writes great paranormal romances. The next series I want to read is the Psy Changeling series by Nalini Singh. Now I don't know a lot about this either. I just know it's paranormal and they have psychic abilities. Like I know I read the spinoff series and some of them could like speak to each other in their minds. Some could like I don't know do stuff mentally and their romances. The next series I have to read is the Scandal and Scoundrel series by Sarah McLean. This is a historical romance series. I do have the first three books. I don't know if there's going to be any more, but I believe there's only three in publication right now, and they're just historical romances. I don't know exactly what they're about, but I want to read the series. Next is the Sweet Addiction series by Jay Daniels. There are three books in this series. I read the first book, and I'm hoping to read the second book during book two -thon. but this one is about a baker, and she meets this guy at a wedding, and they have a thing, and then something is really funny happens and it's about their relationship and I believe the other two books actually follow our main couple from the first book but they're really funny and they're really cute. Next is the Element series by Brittany C. Cherry. I read the first one and it was about two people who have lost their loved ones in their lives and they kind of find comfort in one another and use each other to heal their pain. That kind of annoyed me. I think I gave this one a three or four out of five stars, but I've heard the best books are later on in the series, so I really want to continue on in the series. I do have some YI on this list, so sorry if I go from like genre to genre, but this next one is the Mara Dyer series, and I have read book one and can't even tell you what it was about, so I need to reread the first book and continue with the series. I don't even know what the series is about. I just know it's a great romance with Noah. Next is a series I also own all three of them with, and that is the... Remnant Chronicles. I was going to say the Kiss of Deception series. It's the Remnant Chronicles and this is about a girl. I think she runs away and there's like a hunter chasing after her and the prince chasing after her and you don't know who is who. So I think it's a love triangle and it sounds really good and I have all three books like I said so I'm excited to read this. Next is the Come Back to Me series by Myla Gray. This first one was so good and I'm trying to read the second one during the booktubeathon. And this one is about a girl who at the beginning you figure out that either her brother or her brother's best friend, who is also her boyfriend, one of them is dead from the army. So they both are, I believe they're in the military, and it's really hard for her to deal with them being away. And she starts a relationship with her brother's best friend while they're on leave, so he's not home for that long. 
And yeah, super emotional, super amazing, and I'm excited to read the rest. The second book, I believe, is her best friend's story, um, and she works in like a military hospital. Next, I have three series by Tilly Cole, and the first one is the Ray series by Tilly Cole, the Scarred Soul series. I don't know what the series is called. Loved Ray's so much. It's like underground fighting, Russian mafia, really, really good. Next is the Hades Hangman series by Tilly Cole. This is a motorcycle romance series. I've only read book one. I have a few on my Kindle, and then I also have this one, so I need to read these soon, too, because they're so good. The next series is the Sweet Home series by Tilly Cole. I think it's called the Sweet Home series. I don't know what these series are called, but this is like a college football series, which is totally different from the other two series. I think it takes place in Alabama, but I could use some contemporary from Tilly Cole. Next are more YA series that I have really slacked on, and the first one is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. You probably all know what this is about, and I've literally only read book one. I'm obsessed with the Court of Mist and Fury books, the uh, Court of Thorns and Roses series, yeah, but I've only read this one, and the romance really bothered me, so that's why I have not been reading more, because I'm a romance reader, and it was not very good in this one. But I liked the book, so hopefully I continue on the series. I own all of them, so... Next is the Infernal Devices series. I read the first book a long time ago, then I reread it last year. And this one, I actually do like the romance, though it is annoying because it's a love triangle and I know who she ends up with already. But a lot of action. It is like urban historical fantasy. Yeah, I don't know what the genre is considered, but it's really good. The next series is the Puck series by Helena Hunting. These are really funny hockey romances, and uh, there's a ton in this series. I own the first three, and I've already read book one. It was really cute, so I need to finish these. Then we have King by T.M. Frazier. I have read the first three, and it's two. First two are King stories I loved. Next two are Bear's stories, and I've only read one, and Bear's my absolute favorite. I just don't want it to end, so that's why I'm putting it off. He's in the motorcycle club. And then the next three are Preppies, and then Smokes is the next one. I think yes, because Smoke is number eight, and now there's another one that she's going to be writing too, so I need to really catch up on this series. I read book eight, and books one through three, so sorry. Next is the Beautiful Bastard series by Christina Lauren, and I've only read book one, but it was a really romantic office romance. Next is the Fallen Crest High series by Tijin. This is book one, and I own books one through three. All I know is that people have compared it to the Paper Princess series by Aaron Watt, which is one of my favorites, the royal series, and I guess it's just high school drama. Next is the Bad Romeo series by Lisa Raven. I don't know if, I know one of the books in this series is about the main guy's sister. I really need to reread this. I read it like five years ago, a long time ago, and I know that they were acting students and it flashes between the past and the present and the past when they first met and are being paired together to act and then the present where he did something really bad and broke her heart or something. I don't know, but I need to finish this book, reread it, and read the next two. Next is the Highland series by Karen Marie Moaning. The first one's Beyond the Highland Mist. I don't know what the series is actually called, but this is a time-traveling Highland romance. Outlander obsessed person here, so yeah, this sounds amazing. Next is the Fever series by Karen Marie Moaning. This is an urban fantasy series, and I read book one a long time ago. I don't remember anything about it, so I have to reread that and then finish through. And this is like really later on in the series, but it was the only accessible one on the shelf, so that's why I grabbed it. Then I need to read the Marked Men series, and these actually are on Overdrive, so I actually listened to F Rule and Jet, the first and the second. I read Rule a long time ago, didn't remember anything about it, so I listened to it on audio, then I just finished listening to Jet on audio. They're really good, they're tattoo romances, at least for Rule. Jet's a rock star. They're just really good. The last book I have to share with you is the Hashtag series by Cambria Hebert. First one is a nerd. I own five of them. I don't know how many are in this series. I think they are, there are only five. I got them all from Half Price Books when someone just donated all of their signed copies. So, um, I heard it's a good football, college romance. Yeah, I'm excited to read this series. I also had two more, but they are really annoyingly at the bottom of a stack in my shelves. I didn't want to grab them, but first is the Ten Tiny Breast series by K.A. Tucker. I've only read the first two in that, and there's more. And then it's also her Bearing Water series, which I have not read any of those, and I own three of them. So, I have a lot of reading ahead of me, but those are the series I have to read. Let me know down below which ones you're excited for me to read and what you still have to read. I would love to hear. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.